I think we can be friends. Let's hang out and get to know each other for a little while. You're on my friends list now. Yeah, I read that wrong. Let's be real. Dating is hard. You get catfished, you get let on, you get ghosted, and you get heartbroken. It's a game that we all want to play, but we all suck at it. But here's the thing. With the rise of AI tech, the way that we find new partners and communicate with them is all going to change. In this video, I'll break down exactly how AI is shaping the future of dating. And trust me, we're going to cover some seriously weird topics throughout the course of this video. So if your love life is lacking, keep watching till the end. AI might be your savior. AI Wingman if you've ever tried to hit on someone in a bar, I'm sure you're aware of how valuable a wingman can be. A good wingman can break the ice, make you seem a lot cooler than you are, and back you up when you tell the girl that you own a private yacht. Well, with the rise of AI, you're going to be able to benefit from a wingman from the very start of your dating journey with the apps that you use. Let me explain. Dating apps will be able to make even more use of their machine learning algorithms to suggest conversation starters as you hit it off with a new lover. This is going to be priceless for newer or more introverted daters who struggle to break the ice. I mean, this feels like a complete cheat sheet for dating. When you don't know what to say, your AI buddy will step in and keep things rolling. This tech will also help to block inappropriate messages from appearing on your feed. I'm sure I don't have to go into detail about what kinds of messages and images it will protect you from. Finding Partners a virtual wingman could help you from living alone with your cats to being with your dream match. But another way AI is shaping the future of dating is by helping individuals find partners that they match well with. Dating apps like Tinder use complex algorithms to present individuals with potential partners that they will likely find attractive and interesting. However, right now, it's all down to the person to manually choose whether they're interested or not. Think of how long you've swiped on Tinder over the years. Well, with the rise of AI, this could all change. By analyzing the algorithms and your past dating behavior, AI systems may be able to take the manual swiping element away. So, instead of having to say yes or no to every single person that pops up on your dating app of choice, you'll be able to kick back and let your AI wingman take care of it all. Now, there are a few concerns when it comes to AI finding a partner for you. I mean, what if it swipes on someone that you would never want to date? Or what if it disregards your future Prince Charming? These concerns are very valid, but as AI becomes more advanced and learns your preferences, it'll actually be able to reflect your preferences pretty accurately. And because you won't have to be swiping for three hours a day, you'll actually be able to meet more people and go on more dates. Authenticating Profiles Another way that AI technology will have a positive effect on the online dating game is by helping to authenticate profiles. Everyone who has ever tried online dating knows the dangers of catfishing, and some people take this to extremes, where the person on the receiving end is actually put in serious danger. AI should help to stop this by detecting patterns of behavior that don't quite look right. Ultimately, this should help to make the online dating scene safer, more secure, and more authentic. And that's only a good thing. If you've made it this far into the video, why don't you share some love by hitting that subscribe button? If you could see my dating profile, trust me, you know that I need all the support I can get. I don't like this guy. AI bias. Now, AI clearly has some positive implications for online dating. However, as with pretty much every piece of new technology, there are a few major concerns that we need to look out for. One of the biggest concerns is the issue of AI bias. AI learns from algorithms and data, so it makes sense that if this data is anyway biased, the AI model will be too. This could mean, for instance, that minorities like homosexual couples aren't represented as strongly due to the variability in the data. We've seen these concerns in other applications of AI, and it's something that needs to be considered before AI tech is included in dating apps. Dating AI? Shocking part. So, the issue of bias with AI dating is clearly a major concern. However, there are a few other issues that are downright weird. I mean, some companies have gone as far as to allow you to actually date AI tech. For instance, an app called Blush.ai has been developed that allows individuals to practice their dating skills with AI chatbots. This might seem pretty harmless and even a good way for more introverted people to level up their dating game. However, when you actually look at the kinds of chats you can have with this thing, you will want to uninstall the app immediately. 
Blush.ai has literally been branded as a way for you to find your next crush. Surely this has got to raise a few red flags. It's one thing to enable people to practice a pickup line, but it's a whole different story when you're saying that people could fall in love with imaginary people. Clearly, apps like Blush are huge red flags when it comes to AI and dating. Blush might be harmless right now, but these apps could open the doors to all kinds of terrible situations. What if someone is led to believe that they are talking to a real person when it's actually just an AI bot? Can you imagine someone trying to marry an AI bot? What if the developers then decide to leak all of these messages and permanently embarrass some poor guy who just wanted to find love? There's enough risk of being hurt when it comes to love in the first place. We don't need AI piling more pressure on us, do we? Completely virtual love, even more shocking. Now, talking to a virtual AI chatbot is weird, but what I'm about to tell you makes chatting up a robot seem like a normal thing to do, so get ready. There's a theory that once AI technology develops to a point where we can plug in to a virtual world, we will be able to date virtual lovers as if they were real. This will work via a brain-computer interface, which will allow machines to pipe sensory experiences directly into the brain, monitor each user's experience, and alter the environment to the user's preference. Maybe this reminds you of Altered Carbon, the science fiction novel written by Richard K. Morgan, which has also been adapted into a popular Netflix series. In Altered Carbon, AI has transformed the dating landscape by introducing a virtual world where individuals can date AI companions. This virtual world offers a limitless range of possibilities, allowing users to engage in immersive and personalized dating experiences. AI algorithms analyze user preferences and behaviors to create AI companions that are tailored to each individual's desires. Through advanced simulations and realistic interactions, individuals can form meaningful connections with AI partners in a safe and controlled environment. This innovative technology has redefined the boundaries of human relationships and opened up new avenues for romantic exploration. If this sounds utterly insane, that's because it is. But it's also likely to happen. As technology moves to a point where the virtual world is more exciting than the real one, people are naturally going to plug in for the majority of their lives. It is also estimated that the chip from Altered Carbon, which is implemented in your neck to connect with your brain, could be a real invention by the year 2040. This means that virtual partners will become the norm. And hey, your virtual partner might not even be a real person who is also plugged in. It might just be an AI model that looks real in the virtual world. Maybe one day, you'll even be able to design your perfect partner. So AI and dating, do they mix? Kind of. AI certainly has some positive implications for the dating scene, helping to stop catfishing, automatically finding matches, and assisting people in breaking the ice are all great features and will go a long way toward improving the online dating space. However, as technology becomes more advanced, the thought of dating a virtual partner becomes creepy, to say the least. I don't know about you, but I like my partners to be human, not code. Rest assured, we have a considerable distance to go before this technology becomes a reality, so there's no reason to fear walking down the aisle with an AI machine just yet. Nevertheless, the concept remains unsettling. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to keep on top of everything AI. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.